뮤직 액세스 I don't feel as nervous anymore meeting you guys. It's just, I'm filled with happy butterflies inside my stomach. Of course, I didn't feel as comfortable on the first live show. I didn't exactly know what to do and how to do it. And I was like nervous the entire time and anxious is how I was doing. But I think I know the difference now. And the reason why is, when you don't know what to do, you feel twice as anxious. But once you know what you're supposed to do and how it's supposed to be done at a certain level, then you can get more natural and more relaxed because you're more comfortable with it. And you start to enjoy what you do, which is why I can at least enjoy the work a little bit now. <laughs> how do you guys feel about it? How well do you understand your work and your current situation? What's up? The first song you heard today, Tuesday, May 12th, 2015 was Wild Heart by The Vamps. What's up, music access listeners? I have been getting responses on how I'm becoming more relaxed compared to the first week. I'm not trying to show it off, but apparently I was talking too fast on the first week. I mean, I do talk really fast in general, but when you get nervous, you tend to start speaking a little faster. So my staff kept telling me in the middle, Benji, you're breathing when you talk, right? Slow down. Talk slower, okay? People need to understand you. And thankfully, now it's been about three weeks, and I've heard that my speed has gotten much better. So I'm curious as how you guys are hearing me. Let me know which parts you like best and even the ones you felt like it needed improvement. You know, put those up on the message board and I'll read them off and maybe learn from them later on. All right. Now it's time to go over the first hour of Tuesday. For the first hour, is there a bad habit or a bad memory that you want to get rid of? You let me know and we'll throw that all away into our MA trash can. And what kind of music quiz will we be solving today? You'll find out on All About Music Quiz. And for the second hour of Tuesday, we have Jane joining us on our Relationship Advice Corner. Jane and Benji sum. So we'll meet up with Jane in just a little bit on the second hour. Here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone. And you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.adidangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.74 Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Tejong. So if you guys have any songs you want to hear today or a song you want to let someone hear as a gift, send those requests up onto our message board under the subject title Request. Now we'll be right back after a song for Message Time. The song is Dear Future Husband by Megan Trainer. We're back. The song you just heard was Dear Future Husband by Megan Trainer. And it's time to listen to your guys' words and stories with message time. And our first message comes from Joanna from the USA. And it says, Hello, DJ Benji and Music Access family. I want to first off wish y'all an amazing day or night. And as always, I'm enjoying the segments. Take care, DJ Benji and MA family. Much love from Joanna. All right. That's a great first message to everyone listening out. Joanna wishes you all an amazing day or night wherever you are. And, Joanna, I hope you enjoy today's show even more. And don't forget to stick around for our second hour where I will be with Jane and we'll be chilling out and talking about relationships. And our second message comes from Felicia from the USA. And it says, can you say I love you in Vietnamese? It's really easy. That's how a boy would say I love you to a girl. For me, I'd say, um, you, an, to you. I love you so much. Hope you're having a good day. Ooh, okay. This is like the first kind of foreign language thing that's been 
like it kind of threw me because the the characterization the alphabet's a little bit different i'm not quite used to it but okay i knew him so much <laughs> I, I hope i said that right you know my vietnamese is not perfect it's one of the languages that i need to learn but hey i love pho you love pho everybody likes pho Woo! all right far for the win and our next message comes from Crimson Rose from the USA. And it says, Anyang Benji, I spent a nice day at my mother-in-law's with my family. Up until recently, they were living in the same apartment complex as me and Isabella. They looked for a while and then found a house they wanted and were able to get it. It's a nice house and I'm glad they have it. Woo, that's nice. So then uh, they found a house that they wanted. I want to find a house that I want, you know. Um, later, my dream house, you know, I'm not actually looking for like something huge, like a pool or like, uh, like a movie theater in the house or a skating rink. You know, those are nice, but those are not necessities. A necessity I feel like is a good fridge, um, a TV and, uh, let's see a good microwave because a lot of food that I eat is microwavable food. And if it's leftovers, you got to reheat them in the microwave. So I feel like those three things for me define a perfect house. It doesn't have to be big, you know, just a nice house. Oh, and a recording studio, you know, just just a little small recording studio. Throw it in there. All right. And our final message for this session comes from Darcy and also from the USA. And it says, Anyang Benji, I know you're still trying to find your way about being the MA DJ, but you are doing a wonderful job. I'm glad you're here and hope you can stay for a long while. Thank you. I'm planning to stay here forever and ever and ever. You know, if, if they'd let me, I'd probably sleep in the studio, but uh, they told me it might smell. So they're like, no, you should at least go home and shower first. And so, you know, that's like the, after music access, I go home, shower, and I come back and I like sleep on the floor here. But uh, yeah, that's how much I dedicate myself to improving myself. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. And thank you so much for everyone and sending in your messages to Message Time. Let's check out a song before we come back with M.A. Trash Can. The song is The Reason by Hoobastank. Things you want to delete, memories you want to erase, you can throw them all away here. M.A. Trash Can. A bad habit I developed recently, a pimple that popped up last night. Urgh, I want to get rid of it now. A slip of the tongue, a mistake I made at work or school, uh, erase it from my memory now. If you have things that you want to get rid of or memories that you want to erase from your mind, you can do that here on MA Trash Can. We'll delete those ugly memories and events for you. The reason we have this corner is because after we talk about these mistakes and blunders that we want to erase from our memories, we'll realize, hey, I'm not the only one making mistakes in this world. Other people are suffering from the same thing. Don't you think that'll provide some comfort and relief for us? So. Let's take a look at what kind of a trash we have uh, today. And our first bit comes from Andrea Kett from Australia. And it says, Oh no, Benji. I burnt my noodles to the point of boiling no water as I absentmindedly left them on the stove in a pot boiling and forgot about them until I smelt the all too familiar smell of burning food. So, no lunch for me today. Lucky the fire alarms haven't gone off. <laughs> I rushed around, opening up the doors and windows to let the smoke out. The poor pot, though, has been burnt ash black. Don't think I can save it this time. So hopefully I can learn from this absent mindlessness. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, burning noodles. How can you burn noodles? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but when it comes to, like, leaving stuff and cooking, I think that happens. Like, uh, when I was cooking when I was younger, I remember... I'd uh, turn on the TV when I'd cook, so it wouldn't be as like, uh, I'm not going to say it wouldn't be as boring, but it'd feel a little bit more lively. And I really like a lively kitchen atmosphere when I cook. And then one day there was like my favorite show was on. And then uh, I was cooking 
And then in cooking, there's some steps that require you to step away from the stove for a little bit. So you know, you put it in the pan and then you walk away, and friend, you wait for like you know a couple minutes. But during that couple minutes, I got really caught up in the episode for some reason, and then I'm like watching it. And then I was cooking at the time. I think it was a meat dish or something. And then I'm watching it, and I got super engrossed to the point where even though there was like smoke. And all this stuff, I didn't really notice it.、And、then all of a sudden, in the in my house, I hear the beep 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 beep, but like the、uh, smoke detector going off. Then I look back, and you know my meat's been burnt crisp, and my pan's ruined, and、uh, yeah, it was it was not the best cooking experience. And that piece of meat was actually a pretty good cut, so I had to cut away all the burnt parts, and so what was left was about a quarter of the original cut. And then、uh, I ended up just eating that with a bunch of rice. So Andrea, I wouldn't worry about it. Hope Julie, I'm not hopefully. I guarantee. Once you do this, you do this once, you don't do it again. So,、uh, what I'm going to do is we'll delete your absent mindlessness, and then you can go back to cooking and have happy times. Are you ready? On the count of three, one, two, a three. Mm-hmm. And now that your absent mindlessness is gone, cook something delicious and send me a picture so I know what you're eating. <laughs> all right. So now that that's all erased from your memories, let's celebrate with a song. The song is "Crush" by Mandy Moore, requested by Thailand's Kirinhe. The song you just heard was "Crush" by Mandy Moore, and we're back to M A Trash Can, where we help you guys throw away your horrible memories or experiences. And our next bit of trash comes from Joy from the U S A, and it says, "I tend to buy the similar type of items and notice it after I get home. It goes the same with my clothes, pens, bags, shoes, almost everything." How come I don't think about it when I actually purchase them? So I have all these similar items in my room, and even today I had a T-shirt that I really liked, so I bought it, but came home to find out that I had the exact same shape but in a different color T-shirt hanging right in my room. I even forgot when I purchased that T-shirt, which really surprised me. Why do I always do this to myself? If I try to throw away all the repeated items, it's as if nothing will be left over. I really want to throw away my forgetful memory, where I can't even remember what I bought, and also get rid of my habit of buying the same items. Is it just me who does this? It's only me, right? Is there anyone else who does this? Um, no. You're the only person in the entire world, and this is the end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you know, I actually um, I have a very similar thing, but in a in a different format because, uh, you talked about how you got a T-shirt, but then you have The same one at home, but in a different color. And for me right now, I always used to focus on not buying the same color of anything. So if I have a T-shirt, it doesn't matter what's on it. If it's a white T-shirt and I have a white T-shirt, I didn't get it, so I didn't want repeats of anything. But then now looking at it, it's actually first of all I think a really good thing because you can have the same shirt with the same design, but in a different color. And that's a totally different expression of fashion, Joy. So I don't know how much of a repeat it is, and whether that's you know the exact same thing twice, or if it's、um, a similar item with a slight variation. But you know, when it comes to that stuff, I think it's not that bad of an idea. You know, eventually you'll have your own collection of stuff. And maybe people will even come over and be jealous of it. They'll be like, "Oh my God, you have such a nice collection of fashion!" And you'll be like, "Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little、uh, fashion conscious." <laughs> but really, you know, it all depends on、uh, what you do. And you know, I don't see it as too much of a bad thing. But for you, when it comes to that kind of、uh, doubling up, if it bothers you, then you know, just when you travel around your home looking at the stuff that you have. Before you go shopping, just give it one last look and be like, "What am I trying to get today?" And then check that you don't have it, and then go out. I feel like that might help. You know, that first kind of a double checking. So, Joy, what I'm gonna do is I am going to make sure that you don't forget what you have on the count of tres, uno, dos, tres. Ah, yeah, and now that. Is gone. Congratulations! And、uh, how'd you like my count? I switched it up a little right there. 
I'm switching up the variation. All right, guys. So if you have memories that you want to delete or mistakes that you want to erase, leave us your messages for MA Trash Can, and we'll talk about it together and comfort each other. All right. All you need to do is come visit us at the www.adidongradio.com slash music access website and leave me a message on our message board with the title M.A. Trash Can. And now after listening to a song, we'll be right back for All About Music Quiz. The song is You and Me by Lifehouse, requested by Tony of the Philippines. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. A quiz that progresses, receives praise, but a quiz that is always the same gets ignored. All about music quiz is, to say the least, the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. Get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. We even have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. And our AA music quiz present is Unique's The First Mini Album, EO EO. So for our AA quiz today, the format is guessing the group. I'll be playing you a song from the group who is the answer today. All right, music, please. That's a nice song. All right, so if you know the group, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Now we'll listen to a song and be right back with the second hint for Double A Music Quiz. The song is Jumbi Denayo by B.I.G. requested by Darcy of the USA. Ooh, that is an amazing song. Mm-mm. Jumbi Dunnao Ba B I G. And we're back to all about music quiz, the collaboration between music and quizzes. And today's double A music quiz format had to do with guessing the group. And here's our second hint. I'll let you hear this group's most recent song. You just need to guess what that group is. Are you ready? Second song, play. Yeah. Oh, so did you guys get it? That was those were your two hints. I mean, I could give you a third hint and be like super obvious about it. But you no, know, I, I don't I don't need to do that today because you know what group this is. So if you know the group, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the music access message board at www adidongradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer our AA music quiz present is Unique's the first mini album EO EO and before we move on let's listen to a song the song is by gay yo by Hyuna requested by Turkey's Barrel One yeah, Bargangum. Oops, I'm sorry, I was singing along in the studio. Alright, the song you just heard was Yo by Hyun Ah. And it's time for Message Time. And our first message comes from Kana from Japan. And it says, Benji, 
I like your voice and your easy. I'm sorry, your English is easy to understand. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I'm studying English, so I think my English listening skill is improving. Thank you so much for good times on M A. Love you, Kana X X. Ooh, exactly like I said in today's opening. You know, I'm improving my English in terms of、uh, speed and articulation. You know, if at first I talked a little bit like this and you guys didn't really understand what I'm saying, now I'm focusing more on speaking in a more relaxed tone, more smoothly, and more confident articulation. So thank you, Kana. Oh, that's that's a nice compliment. That my English is easy to understand. I think that's a really nice thing. And our next message comes from Paulina Yoko from Mexico, and it says, "I'm curious about who's the last to wake up and the first to go to sleep in the dorm of Big." Let's see. The last to wake up is,、uh, let's say, mm, mm, me, and the first to sleep is mm, mm, Jay Hoon, probably. But I, I, I kind of. We don't really pay attention to that, and it changes all the time. But I'm assuming it's something like that. And our next message comes from Aid from Mexico, and it says, "Hi Benji, hope you're having fun today with the MA family. Do you like to drive? I'm hoping I'm able to get my permit this summer. Stay cool and happy, Aid. Ooh, I'm having fun today as always. And do I like to drive? In Korea, I don't have a, a Korean license yet." But when I'm in the states and、uh, I could drive there, I like to driving. It's a nice feeling, and、uh, you know, you turn up your tunes, crank up the volume, go vroom vroom, and then you go around driving, and it's a lot of fun. But I think a lot of it's based on a、uh, safe driving. Remember, Aid, the important rule about driving is stay safe. Don't get into any accidents, and watch out for other unsafe drivers. And our next message comes from Wilma Stevens from Australia, and it says, "My friend Tasha is the biggest beginning I know, and she is absolutely adorable. She's always there for me, even though she lives so far away from me. I know I can come to her with any problems I might have, and she always knows how to help and cheer me up when I'm down. Most of the time, she can read me like a book. I'm always super grateful to her." I'm so lucky to have a friend like you, Natasha, Benji, and Big. Thank you so much for making her so happy and brightening her day. Ah, oh, this is not the end of the message. Can you please help me say thank you, Natasha, or as I call her, fire fighting. Loving you all so much, and thank you, Natasha, Benji, Big, and Ma family. Fighting. <gasps> thank you, Natasha, Wilma. Thank you for your friendship and. I also thank you for your friendship, but yeah, um, it's great to know that uh, like that we have a positive influence, and you know, as I'm always saying, if I can make anyone's day just a little bit brighter, you know, it, Natasha, if you're listening, first of all, you have a great friend in Wilma, and、uh, I'm glad that you're happy when you know you're with hanging out with、uh, me, whether it's me or whether it's Big and whatever kind of whether it's a video or anything. It's it's great to know that what we are doing has a positive effect on someone's、uh, you know life and、uh, thank you for that. And our final message for this session comes from Lorena from the USA, and it says, "Hi Benji, why are you so funny? Each time I tune in, you have something funny to say. Even my little brother that hardly laughs said, 'Who's that? He's really funny.' I was really surprised that he laughed at your jokes. I guess he's your new fan. LOL." Anyways, Benji, have you ever been to Portland? Since you keep on saying it, just wondering because I live in Oregon. I hope you have a nice day and take care.、Uh, I have been to Portland, not recently, but when I was super, super, super younger, I remember I went there and I did go karts there. And、uh, yep,、yeah. it's, it's such a long time ago. I can't quite remember everything, but I remember I had a really good time. And Oregon is a really nice city. And like in high school, we did a、uh, music. Like festival or something in Oregon as well, and so、uh, yeah, I have been to Portland. And your little brother, if you're listening, Lorena's little brother, you are cool now. You're officially joining the cool club, so congratulations on that.、Uh, go ask your sister to buy you a pair of sunglasses and you know wear them to school because you are the cool kid in the family now. All right, so thanks to everyone who sent in your messages for message time. Let's listen to a song before we come back with more. 
The song is Young Hwan Torok by Double S501, requested by the Philippines' Mycel. The song you just heard was Young Hwan Torok by SS501. And it is time to wrap up the first hour, but wait, because in the second hour, we will be back with Jane for our Tuesday corner, Jane and Benji's Sum. And to wrap things up for the first hour, I will let you hear Pray to God by Calvin Harris featuring Hype, requested by Melody Pick of Thailand, and I will be right back. Music Access What's up, what's up, Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G. And on to the second hour of Music Access for today. In the second hour today, we'll take this time to talk about any relationship problems and love stories of male and female listeners from all over the world. And we'll do that on Benji and Jane's Sum. Here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone. And you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Taejong. Alright, after listening to a song, we'll be right back for our Tuesday Corner Benji and Jane's song. The song is Listen to Me by Unique, requested by Mexico's Aid. A game that's always fun no matter how many times you play The Sum Game Some guys that make my heart flutter Or some girls that make Benji's heart skip a beat A special and unique concept called something that I heard for the first time through my MA family You'll all join us for an awesome day every Tuesday, right? Jane and Benji's Sum. <laughs> Jane. Benji. Did you have a good week? Yes, so lovely. What about you? I am having a good week. Really? It is good. Really? Really? Good. <laughs> my my dad was here. Oh really? He, he was here. Oh he's, wow! He's not here anymore. Oh, he's not. He doesn't live in Korea. No, they, my parents are living in Seattle. Oh. My, my dad came out to visit really quick. Oh. But he's gone. You must be very lonely. I'm when so you're happy. In Korea. What? <laughs> How are you? It's happy time about? for me to be independent on my own. Oh, I'm so stepping you get to... out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What do you like when you're around your parents? Pretty much the same, actually. Really? Because I'm really, really chill with my parents. Like, they're like friends, like, when I talk to them. Oh. So, my dad's name is Doug. Oh, he has an English name? Yeah, he has a Korean name and an American name. So oh. I, But, you know, like, in America, you know, we call, like, friends, like, bro and stuff. Yeah. So, I'm like, yeah, what's up, dog? Oh, really? Yeah, like, it's that kind of, like, we're chill. Man, I wish I had that sort of relationship with my parents. We're hella chill. I mean, I still Heck go, like, chill. yo, mom. But, like, I always say mom because I don't call her by her name, you know? Because in Korea, it's, like, impolite. I don't I don't call my name by her name. Or my mom my by her mom name. Because her name is your name. Yo, what? Her name is your name. Her name? Oh, really? Yeah. Jane? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yo, yo, I'm not your mom. Okay, so. Be my mom. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, so it is, you know, the weather's getting hot. You know. <gasps> so nice. I walk outside in just a t-shirt. I know. It is a t-shirt and a, and a right? shorts weather. And then in like three weeks, it'll be like no shirt and shorts weather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, I'm going to work on my six pack and I'm going to show it to everyone in Korea. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, you better promise me. And one day that you'll show everyone, all the MA family, your six packs. Oh, of course. I'll do the entire broadcast shirtless. Okay. Sound good? Everybody you guys heard sound that, good? right? Yeah. <laughs> at some point, at some day, I will do an entire broadcast shirtless. 
All right. Unless it gets cold. No, 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 no. no. If it gets cold, Some, sometime in summer. It for might sure. get cold though. No, impossible. Not not in Korea. That's true. But you know, <laughs> wait. You do work out though. Yes, right? I do. And you know, girls got that uh, that eleven abs. Yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening for me. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for us then. All right. I'll get the eleven and the six. We'll do a seventeen pack. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. So, do you have any summer plans? Summer plans? Well, to be honest, I went to Hong Kong like not long ago. Right. So. I actually spent all my money then. Uh huh. So even if I want to go somewhere, uh huh, I can't go. <laughs> you could busk all the way down to somewhere. Mm. Sing on the street with the guitar. Yeah, yo, you know we should do that sometime. You should do that sometime. No, we should do I'll that. I'll be, sometime. I'll be on the couch <laughs> at somewhere chilling, drinking a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't have God. the energy to bus cross country. <laughs> it's too hard. It's fun though. It's true. It is fun, but you know, I'll do that fine. I'll do that after I do my shirtless MA. Okay. This is a joke, by the way, guys. No, it's not. Sort of a joke. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> it's time for our personality test. And today's question is, you are invited to a party and you arrive at the party dressed up all nicely. Mm. Where do you go as soon as you arrive? Number one, you go to the waiting room to double check your outfit. Number two, you go to the lobby to see if you know anyone. Number three, you go inside the banquet where most of the people go. Or number four, you go to the garden where not a lot of people go. Um, hmm. This is assuming you go to the party alone then. So you go with like no friends or expecting to meet someone there. Yeah, okay. So like you don't come with like a friend or a significant other. Mm-hmm. All right, so what would you choose? Well, I chose number one. You go to the waiting room to double check your outfit. I would pick number two. You'll go to the lobby to see if you know anyone. Okay. I feel like. Wait, let me think. A no, party. no, no. You pick number two. We'll go with number two. Fine. Number <laughs> two. All right, for you listeners, you guys choose one answer too. Um, number one, you go to the waiting room to check your outfit. Number two, go to the lobby to see if you know someone. Number three, go inside to the banquet hall where most of the people go. Or four, go to the garden where not a lot of people go. And this question is to test and figure out your hidden personalities. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so I, feel, I have a feeling I know what number one is anyway. Uh, of course, don't take it seriously. No one's going to judge you, except mm. me. <laughs> and the test is just a test. All right, so choice number one, that's what you picked. Mm-hmm. You go to the waiting room to double check your outfit. And this means... You are definite and certain with your answers. Even though your best friend asks for a favor, you reject that request if you know you're not the right person to help out. You might be perceived as being cold, but you are definitely a generous and deep person inside. Do you agree with this? I completely agree. I agree with this too. She seems a little bit cold, and I've yet to find that generous, deep person. Are you serious? No, I'm no, no. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but I mean, I feel like I can kind of see it because, you know, you're very um, confident in your actions and your motives. Yeah. And then... A lot of it, I feel, is based on... There's a certain gravity with each choice. It's not, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. It's, oh, I'm going to do this because of this and this reason. Yeah, I always need, like, a reason to do that. Right. Like, I can, I'm never the type, like, that take risks. Mm-hmm. And also, when I help out my friends, I don't go, yeah, sure, I'll help you out, like, without thinking it through. Mm-hmm. So I'm always, like, I make sure that I make the right choice. Mm-hmm. So I don't even... I'm not even afraid to say no. Ooh. So that's why some people do think I'm cold. But guys, just know I'm just being smart. <laughs> mm, I agree with you. All right, and the second choice, is, which is what I chose, it's you go to the lobby to see if you know anyone. And, oh my God. <laughs> to see if you know anyone. And this means... You are the type to have a lot of egg yo and to act like a baby. You do get a lot of love by others, but at times you can be a distress to others. You need to be more generous to those around you and to develop a more mature side of you. Veggie, say boing boing. (laughs) Boing boing. (laughs) I don't agree with this whatsoever. I'm very manly. Whatever. I'm so manly. No, but you do have that... um, I don't. I would. I wouldn't say you have like a lot of egg yolk, but uh-huh. you have a lot of like, um, baby side. Baby side, like hyperness. You're very uh-huh. active. True. And like a lot of people might, you know, be scared of that. True. You know what I mean. And some people might be a little like my members when they first met me. They were like, 
oh the, who's this hyper dude <laughs> or like what's this guy like did they think you were like a wait are you a hyung to them are you older than I'm them? like the second hyung in the group did they know like the first minute they saw you that well, you were older than when them? they come in though they're introduced as this is your group's hyung or like this is oh, yeah. this age but then whenever we go somewhere at first when we debuted people thought I was the magne yeah that, that kind of happened a little bit I got, I got that impression you know, as baby well. faces looking young Anyway, what about number three? You go inside the banquet where most of the people go. Okay, so you are a bright, cheerful person. You enjoy everything you do and even make others around you feel happy. You even you even have a deep heart that you always try to understand the minds of others. See, I was going to pick this one. Oh, it's just FYI, you know. I should have picked this one. Oh, but this is not you, though. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm bright <laughs> and I'm cheerful. What you want about? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, the deep heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, and guys, if you pick number four, you go to the garden where not a lot of people go. This means... You have a very timid personality. When you get... When you get even a little bit emotional, you are likely to cry and you become sensitive easily with even the little things. But that's also because you are a very warm-hearted person and also can take care of others. Every single one of these answers, I just want to say, has like ends with like, but you're warm-hearted and nice. Yeah, uh, they're, they're all nice. They're all positive. Yeah. See, guys, this is why you take a personality <laughs> test like this because everyone's positive <laughs> and we're all wonderful people. And even if it's just for fun... I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. We always have fun on personality tests. Yeah. All right. So, Miss Jane, can you tell us how our listeners can participate in today's corner? All right. So every Tuesday, we talk about men and women and relationships and how different we are. If you have any questions about why men act a certain way or why women act a certain way, please ask us by writing in your message under the title, Why Do Guys or Why Do Girls or some on your title on our message board and Benji and I will try our best to answer your questions for you. That's right. And now I think it's time for a song before we come back with more. The song is Me You by Sunny featuring Pegadin. Sunny! <laughs> Me you. I like I did like it. All right, so the song you just heard was Me You by Sunny featuring Pegadin. And you're listening to Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G. And we are on our Tuesday Corner Sum with... Jane! <laughs> and our first message is for Why Do Guys. Could you please read it for us? All right. So this is from Emma from Sweden. I had a guy that I liked and was in a relationship with. We are only friends now, but every time we meet up, I get confused about our feelings with each other. He still says things he used to say to me when we were together, but he doesn't want us to be together. Or I get the feeling he doesn't want... He doesn't. But when he say all those things, he confuses me, and I don't know what to do. It feels like he's playing with my feelings. So to wrap this up in a sentence... Mm. It would be like, we used to be in a relationship, but now we're friends. Why? And why? <laughs> I mean, is that, is that right? Okay, so this... So Emma, Emma had a guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Past tense. Uh-huh. And was in a relationship. So yeah, yeah I, think, I think she's saying they used to be in a relationship, but now they're friends. But he still says things... That he used to say to her when they were in a relationship. Mm. So he's giving her like signals, like really off, like confusing signals. See, this is why I feel like if you have a relationship and it ends, it's really hard to be f- like be friends. I feel like it's hard to maintain the exact friendship that existed before. I know, Ex- especially like straight after your breakups. Ah. That was that's always awkward. But I'm- like, what are you like with? Your well, I'm sure you had a relationship before. Mm-hmm. Like, but this must have been when you were really young, though. Oh, yeah, like you know, like yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, for me, like, um, I mean, here's the imp- all important question: Do you talk to your exes? Me. Yeah. Well, I do. Because I I don't. Oh well, only because my ex boyfriend, he was my boyfriend like ages ago. Like, mm. back in when I was in uni. Oh. So, this was like... Well, I'm making myself sound really old again, but this was like four years ago? Four, wow, five years ago? old. Dang. <laughs> no, but um, 
Yeah, like at first it was very awkward when mm-hmm. I was when I was talking to him, but obviously because I moved out to Korea and I was you know training uh-huh. and all that, so um, it was it was a bit awkward when I was catching up with him once in a while. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we both knew we still wanted the friendship. We didn't want to like get disconnected forever. Because, you know, we still had a good relationship when we were together. And it's not like we ended it in bad terms. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I hate you. You hate me like that. It was just, you know, we both knew that long distance would never work. Mm-hmm. So we were just being smart. And we just, like, broke up. But, I mean, it really depends on how the breakup's like as well. I, that's important, too. I mean, if depending on if it was a good breakup or a bad breakup, mm. I feel like that would be really important. Because, you know, if it was on good terms, at least there's something to say. Yeah. But if it was on bad terms, then there's not really a lot to hold on to. But then, like, I guess because because Emma's ex-boyfriend is giving her the wrong signs. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of wrong. Don't you think so? I feel like this dude is, um, I feel like he's not intentionally doing it. Because if he was intentionally doing it, then obviously he might have, you know, he might just like say like, oh, I, you know, I want to date again. Yeah. Which, you know, he could be leading up to. But if that's not it, I feel like he just doesn't know how to go back to being friends. Right. I think it just could be like more of a habit. Uh huh. I mean, it depends how long you guys were together. Because mm-hmm. if you guys were for like, if you guys were together for like a few months, mm-hmm. like say maybe like six to six months or more, mm-hmm. it's probably hard for you guys to like talk like your friends. True. True. But if you guys had like a very short term relationship. Then it might not be as hard as you know. It was before, yeah. exactly. But do you have any mm. advice for her? Like, I mean, she's—he's obviously giving her the wrong signs, or he could still like her. You know. I feel like this important thing is this. In when I read this, it says you don't know what to do, which I think that's one of the biggest things that you need to figure out. Because mm. if if it was like he confuses me, but I don't like this, then you know I can say, oh, you know, tell him to stop, or you know. Tell him to back off, give a little space. Or if it was the opposite, you know, but, you know, I still, I still kind of like him. Then maybe I would be like, you know, go for it or something. But if you're confused about it, I think that's the first thing. The important thing is to figure out your feelings about the matter. Because if, it, if it's something that could lead back to a relationship and you want that, mm-hmm. then, you know, this could be a positive sign. That's but right. if you don't want to be in a relationship at all. Then definitely, I'd say you know tell this dude to get some space and back off. But first, you need to figure out your feelings on the matter. I feel like yeah, and I, I think it do, it won't hurt to like talk to him mm-hmm. about this because obviously you're getting the mixed signs from him, and you might like it because you still like him, but he might not not like you. He might not even know that though. Yeah, that's why you really need to talk to him about True. it. True, and then you know addressing it in a very. Um, like not too like crazy direct though mm. not like hey so you know you're doing this and it's confusing me but i'm sure he'd understand i sure i mean if you were dating obviously you know you understood each other yeah. on a good level oh, oh well well i'd say fighting emma good luck <laughs> i hope we helped out i feel like we helped out but it's kind of like we we sort of like helped out like it's, sort of it's it's sort of vague what she gave us like we don't know how you bro- you guys broke up or like how long you guys were together Mm -hmm. so maybe if we knew that a little more detail yeah but for now this is all we can say but if you have more questions you can um you know send in your message yeah right in and uh, good luck emma i hope your stuff works out however you uh end up dealing with it fighting good luck and now let's check in a song before we come back with more the song is (laughs) yone halle by pak boram the song you just heard was yone halle by pak boram and our next message is for Why Do Girls? Ladies, please. All right, so this is from Linda from the USA. So. The reason I am writing this message to you today is dot, 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 to ask something that my brother is actually wondering about. Ew. So my brother, who is currently in a relationship with his girlfriend, does not talk to me when he is in good terms with his girlfriend. But when he is in a big argument with his girlfriend then he comes to my room and yells why do girls out loud (laughs) the question he asks the most is why do girls talk so much why do girls want us to talk more apparently my brother made her girlfriend upset 
I asked him about what happened and why it happened, and also told him to reveal what he felt at that time. He just told her to stop, and his girlfriend got upset and cried her way home. Then he asked himself, why do girls do that? Benji and Jane, what do you think happened between these two? I don't know, bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually kind of, okay. First from the ghost perspective. Mm. If you've dated someone, you've obviously fought with them before. Uh huh. Okay. In a fight, who tends to talk more? Uh, moi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me. And the reason for that is? It's because, all right, I feel like from a girl's perspective, mm-hmm. guys are really not not trying to say this in a bad way, uh-huh. but guys are insensitive. Mm. Like, not insensitive in a bad way, but they're less sensitive than girls. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, like, obviously, from a girl's point of view, like, she's thinking so many things and she's aware of so many things compared to the guy in the mm-hmm. relationship. But you know how guys are like, so just chill and, like, mm-hmm. they don't really care much and they don't really put much thought to, like, little things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whereas girls, they're really careful about just the tiniest things as well. Mm-hmm. So this is why girls get more upset and they do more talking and they try to get the boyfriend to help, I mean, understand them. Mm. But in the end, guys don't understand girls. So that is why guys get angry and girls get upset. And that's why we have this corner. <laughs> you know, actually, um, I want to, if I can put my two cents in on this, there's an opinion that I have on this mm-hmm. and this could be completely wrong. So, you know, it's just my personal opinion. Uh, in terms of when it comes to... Because I, I know that totally exists. Like, guys are not sensitive to the girls' problems. Mm-hmm. And then for the guys, the girls are, like, overly sensitive. Yeah. But to put it in a different perspective, I feel like girls are very focused on the detailed picture. They are. And then guys are more focused on, you know, the actual just... The overlook of the picture itself. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if I have a picture of, like, a farm or something... The girls will look at the picture and be like, oh, this cow's um, spots are brown. Or like the horns on this cow are very you know, Completely. sharp. But then guys will be like, oh, this is a house on a farm. Oh, the sun's out. Oh, yo, that farmer's got a cool hat. Like, it's that kind of stuff. It's not. And then when it comes to like um, arguments or fights with the girl, that's when the differences collide. Because for the girl, she comes in saying, you know, I can't believe you could do this thing. And then for the guy, it's not that he doesn't care. Mm. I'm pretty sure that if you had us calm talk about it over tea, he'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I get it. But then when it comes to that instantaneous confrontation, the guy thinks, you know, I don't understand why that's such a big deal when this is such a bigger problem. Right. But then he's not going to go out and explain every single problem because that's more the detailed picture. Mm -hmm. And then he's more about the whole kind of, you know, this is a problem and we need to fix it. Not this problem is because this and this and this happened, which led to this and this and this. And I don't understand why you don't understand these two points. Yeah. You know? I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. And so, like, when it comes to your brother, you know, bro, why do girls talk so much? And why do girls want us to talk more? It's because the girls want to hear more details from us. That's what it is. They want us, they want to know that we are thinking in a similar way that they are. Mm-hmm. But that's really, actually, it's difficult. And that's why in a relationship, I feel like you really have to get to that growing point. And that's why so many people say it's about understanding and compassion. Mm-hmm. Because really, I feel like when it comes to friends, you know, you you joke with your friends and, you know, you call your friends stupid when you see them. But they don't care because they're not, you know, you're not dating your friends, right? Yeah. But then when you're dating someone, part of it is not just you're being in a romantic way, but you're expressing more of yourself and right. you're showing more sensitivity. And then to a certain extent, if you show that sensitivity, you expect some back. You know, there's a double kind of equal exchange on that. So, you know, when, um, Linda's bro, I don't know if you're listening, but uh, I just say, you know, if you talk it over, just try to like understand, take a step back and don't think about the confrontation that's happening now, but think about maybe like why it could have gotten this far right. and then really express your opinions and as a calm and kind of a well-versed way. So it's not overly complicated, not overly concise, because I think that's one of the strengths that you will be able to have, you know? It's not about... Oh, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, and also, like, I want to give, like, the girlfriend a little advice as well, like, the brother's girlfriend. Like, rather than thinking about, about, like, the little details, I think you also need to put yourself in your boyfriend's point of view, because obviously, I'm sure you know what your boyfriend is like. I know... Mm -hmm. I think think she'll know what her boyfriend is like. Mm -hmm. So she needs to 
try to put herself in his shoes, and in in that way they'll you know understand each other and get to a point where they're not fighting too much. Because right now I feel like maybe they could be fighting over little things. Mm-hmm. So like I also feel this as well when I when I was in a relationship, I felt like I was very you know sensitive mm-hmm. over little things and. If you just think back after the whole argument, and I look back, I'm just like, I could have just understood it like that from his point of view, mm-hmm. you know. So I think not only there's something for the brother to do, I think the girlfriend should also, you know, put a little change to herself as well. You know, I feel like that'll definitely help if both sides really try to work it out. Mm. So Linda, you know, you know, deliver this message to your bro, and hopefully it helps him and his girlfriend work things out. And, yeah, I just hope you're there for your brother when he needs you. Because I have a brother, too. And he's got a girlfriend. And, man, they get into a lot of arguments. Woo! It's not nice. But, yeah, it, you just make sure you're there for your brother. And, you know, try to explain it as much as you can. Because in the end of the day, you're a girl, too. So... <laughs> in the end of the day, you're a girl and he's a boy. <laughs> and we all need to understand each other. One love. Right. All right, so... Uh, good luck to that, and thank you to everyone for sending in more, your messages. We'll be looking forward to more of them next week. And goodbye, Jane. But before I say that, <laughs> she's like, you she's surprised like, me. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> We're gonna play a wrap-up game. And for the game, let's do bingo. So our theme is superheroes. So mm-hmm. you know superheroes, right? Uh, yeah. So we got you know Avenger, or we got the uh, the six week people. We got the four, the super, whatever. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> Today's penalty. Wait, wait. I, I know what you wrote on your bingo box now. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying, for example, you know, it could be, you know, vegetable man or something. Uh-huh. Potato guy. All right. So today's penalty. We talked about this at a certain point. Um, revealing your bare face. <gasps> okay. So do you agree with this? You know what? That was my idea. So, uh, but I'm, I'm sort of like panicking as well at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, let's do the game first. And okay. then we'll discuss that a little bit more later. All right. Do you have your board ready? Um, hold on. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, hurry, hurry. Okay. Hold on. Ah, see, she's not ready, you know, guys. No, I just ready? had one left. All right, Okay, done. you ready? All right, rock, paper, scissors, these scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, yeah. go. Yeah. All right, game start. <sighs> Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Iron Man. Yes. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. What? <laughs> you don't know Powerpuff Girls? I feel you need to put that on. That's just whatever. <laughs> uh, Batman. Uh, Superwoman. Oops. Green Lantern. Yo. Um. Hmm. What should I do? Superman. Uh huh. Wait, how many lines do we need? Three. Bingo, Jane. You know, we, we have a hammer One, here. One, two, three. Oh, wait. No, wait. Wait. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. You can only hit once. No. I'm hey, going to hey. hit you. <laughs> rules are rules, and that was a fair game. So I accept my loss generously. Why am generosity. I so good? Why am I so good? I'm surprised. Why am I so okay, good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. What was the penalty? Okay. So the penalty we were talking about before... Was revealing your bare face. I'm so down for that now. Okay. <laughs> yes. But I mean, come on, it's it's like bare face. Okay. Compromise on one thing. You can have one type of makeup on. Okay. So like BB cream. All right. Eyelashes, well, you're you're the loser, so you can lipstick. Oh, do I choose this for you then? Yes. Can Go I ahead. choose Go lipstick? Ahead. You choose it. <laughs> lipstick. All right, fine. I'll put just lipstick on. Yeah. Okay. Red. Red lipstick, dark red. You bring lipstick. it. You bring in the lipstick. Okay. Because I'm not gonna go anywhere and buy red lipstick that I'm Call. using once. Woo. But then, in case, in case it's like too weird, how about this? We'll see how it looks like next week, and if it's super weird, then I'll do your eyebrows. We'll do, <laughs> we'll do it as a picture. <laughs> okay. Instead of video, because it's it's pretty. It's we'll see. We'll okay. see how it happens next week. So lipstick, focus mm-hmm. on that. And now it is time for us to wrap things up. Oh, I can't believe I lost today. I yes. I, I I had no fun today at all. Yes. It's horrible. Yes. <laughs> what about you? I had so much fun. Oh no. <laughs> I can't wait till oh, next no. week. Oh, 
I, I hope you don't come back. <laughs> no, just kidding. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you next week. And send it, Jane. Out here's a song. The song is "Beauty and a Beat" by Justin Bieber featuring Nicki Minaj. Woo! Bye. Bye. The song you just heard was "Beauty and a Beat" by Justin Bieber featuring Nicki Minaj, and it's now time to reveal the answer for our double A music quiz from the first hour. And what is the answer? The answer is this is a drum roll, and the answer is BTS. Bang Tan Son Yeon Dan, Yeo Jeon and Che, Go Away, Somebody. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh, so hard. A lot of people posted us the right answer, and we'll post it on our message board as well after the show. If you see your name there, please send us a message with your name, address, phone number, the date you were chosen, and email address on our message board under the title "Winner." And our AA music quiz present is Unique's the first mini album. Eo eo. And. Let's check out two songs that were requested by our listeners. Now, the first song is "Loser" by Big Bang, requested by the USA's Felicia, followed by "Cha Aneso" by C Clown, requested by Aaron, also from the USA. We're back. We just heard "Loser" by Big Bang, followed by "Cha Aneso" by C Clown, and it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> But don't worry, because I will be back, and. We will have fun. So, I'll、uh, let you hear our last song for today. Please don't let me go. By Ali Moores. This was Benji of B I G, and I'll be back. Brah. <laughs>